We'll have to. You know, when you're doing research, that's why they need to change the statute of limitations because it takes a while to connect the dots. They say cut a cucumber in half and look at all those seeds on each side. You got to connect the dots, the seeds. Okay, but see, here's something else that caught my eye. They always use Eugene. Because, as I mentioned before, because he's a Sprint customer, I was pumping all my stuff out to my friend Eugene. And then I had to ask him, who is your carrier? Because I was pumping them out to him. He wasn't getting them. But my one of my other email addresses, it shoot over. And I didn't find where they were until... Um, I can't remember what happened, but I shut down my cloud completely, and then I looked, and I have screenshots of it. On the 9th of November, all of my cloud was empty, nothing. And then on the 9th of December... All of Odette's, there were just like 15 emails with Odette's name on them, only. And when I clicked it, they were gutted out. So, me, I took my original, four, I made four and made changes each one, and I told my ex-husband, here, that's my original. This is what they're looking for. There was only three documents that they wanted and three recordings. The original that I sent, because the one that came back did not have the word retraction anywhere. That's what made me even sicker. The email that I sent out on the 25th online to customer complaint was fine. And then that night, I put together word for word exactly how it happened. Attitude with quotations and question marks and things. The one that I received had nothing. It said, all she needs is the one who messed up to apologize and get a copy of her file and move her to another office. Now, I did say she needs to be relocated. Audette said, I'll look out after her. I explained to Audette how corporate America works. If you've ever been in finance, you know that it's very political. And I managed loan processors, wrote scripts for programs, for the documents, on, so the pro loan processors could do it properly and as accurate as I did. I'm one of those people that give me the hardest file. There was this guy three years. First Fidelity Lending. He get close to closing and back off. Close to closing and back off. I said, man, come on, give it here. He gave me the file. I got the man to, to sign the documents while he was on a plane. Two hours later. Pacific Mortgage. He was about to allow his parents to lose their home because he got a loan against and didn't tell them to buy a BMW. But then when it came time to uh, refinance, he was going to be short because the BMW popped up. He tried three different places. And everybody told him, I just kind of heard it through the door. He was getting ready to leave. 
to go back out to the Beaverton office. And I said, please let me try. He said, what do you mean? I said, I bet I can do it. He said, everybody's tried, Jamila. I said, give me a shot. He handed it to me. All you have to do is always tell the truth. And I told them the truth. I said, look, you want $52,000. He can only give you $31,000. And if you say no, you won't get none. Because they've already cast the car off. He talked to the supervisor before the owner of the company drove out of the parking lot. I had him on the phone. I said, guess what? They took the offer. You're going to be able to give your mom and dad at least $6,000. You'll never know what happened. And you can go on a vacation too. That's how I work. You know? Corporate America is so screwed up. The things that I go through, I stand up even before my baby was murdered in the abuse um, business. But when you have somebody who's going to take the time to go in your stuff and like you're retarded or something, you know, and I'm explain something to you. I'm a survivor of human trafficking. Some of these documents said that my business, instead of saying I'm a um, personal manager, it said that I had a, a uh, human trafficking business. That means you read my website. People research the person that's putting them in check to find a weakness. You're not going to find one here, boo-boo. And I'm only 5'2". I've been jumped on by property management companies that try to get me to stop reporting. All I do is let a person know when they're, when they're wrong. You guys, Bob, Dave, Mike, John, all I sent attached when I was forwarding those emails, the same one that I wrote, I had coercion, West Business Law Book opened up in a screenshot. Business defamation, screenshot. That's all it was. Now you're defaming her. Mama, when when Drake and Rachel walked up on it, she knew nothing. She and when the way they said to her, "You tell your mother if she calls again, we're gonna fire you for harassment." What kind of shit is that? Do you say to a kid? And what kind of mother you think is going to sit back and watch it? My business, everybody that comes to me is my kid. I'm a 60-year-old woman. Everyone that comes to me, I handle every case like it's my personal case. It's me. Because that's how you're supposed to look at everything. Do you understand that the first law that you guys are breaking, if you ever do anything to anyone that's appalling, do you know what appalling means? You guess what you're like, what? You've created a felony or committed a felony. I hope you guys understand that shit. And because cyber is new, understand this. I know how to put laws and uh, rules in place. A lot of these things are already in place. I'm not trying to go after you for cyber because you know that's hard to do unless you have a whole bunch of money to be able to pay a forensic science uh, cyber specialist, you know? But I have a friend, all right? But I'm not going to need him because I'm not going to go for the bullshit you put in here because there's only three documents that mean anything. The one that I wrote, the one that you wrote, Rob, and the one that LeBlanc wrote. Now, the bad thing is, you both threaten coercion, coercive power. 
You both threatened to get what you want because you're used to doing that shit to people. You guys do research and check somebody out. You should have fucking checked my re- my resume as well. Because all that crap was patted on me. Like you guys do do to people. I don't know what you were trying to do to my child. But I told you I was going to make a promise. Whatever you was going to do to her, I'd be damned if I'm going to let you slide on this. It ain't even wanting your motherfucking money. It's wanting to watch you worry when you go to sleep at night if it's going to happen. Let you wonder. Really hard. If I'm coming. You best check some shit out because you're wrong. Your executive team, I sent them documentation like I told that woman you had calling, acting like it was um, from the executive president, whatever the hell, lying ass. Um, I sent the executive team that somebody was in my phone. Now, if it wasn't you motherfuckers that was in my phone, then who the hell was it? Is it, was it, and you shut me down for letting you know, sending you pictures. The one I sent that said they deleted all the photos in my um, in my phone and left the picture of my child and my grandbaby right in the middle. That means that somebody already knew Tressa and wasn't going to do that to her. They knew enough about me. I, I don't go around running around about, about my children. You knew. You knew a little bit too much, too much, and I don't know people that cyber and shit like this, but you knew who to direct and who to go after. First, when you start move, removing David and Mike, and then you talk shit to me, knowing good and damn well you could have fucked her world up. Didn't care. Didn't care. And then you remove our debt. When you move, remove our debt and left a at symbol in a three. Yeah, I screenshot, I screenshot that shit. So to make sure I couldn't do anything else with that phone, you made sure that phone did not work anymore. You just all of a sudden just died. I didn't give a fuck because it, it once I fill a phone up, I'm not going to run and get another one. I'm going to get another laptop. I'm going to put it down because that phone is full of everything. That Yahoo, I have not even touched it because I don't care how long it is or how old it is and you can't get back into it right now. I bet you the government, when they finish with this um, report that I just that I'm working on finishing, I'm almost done. I've been doing, working with a, a senator and I'm going to tell you something. You guys are so wrong. You listen to me beg and plead. You know when you did that shit to my child, it felt like somebody sucked me in my stomach because I knew the law and I know businesses and I know one small mistake a bitch can make. And you'll hide them. So I took some documents, copied them, and put them in my Yahoo when you got in there. And I made a file in my notes, my iCloud notes that said, Drake, capital letters. You emptied it out. Then when you put it back, you couldn't just drop it back in. You put it on the PDF. You guys are stupid. Like, we're stupid. I don't give a fuck how much money you have, Rob. You fucked with the wrong bitch. You can't turn my shit off because I don't have your service. Uh, no. I don't need it. I had cricket. I've never gone without no cell phone. I've always paid my bill. You guys going to fuck me over, shut my shit off. Then 4.30 in the morning, Apple Hook just turned you back on for me. You realize when I got ready to send the whole packet to uh, Queen News just to get it out of my phone, you guys are dirty. And I'm going to tell you, when you took Mike and Dave out, and then what is it about Drake or what did Drake do? Because the only way I was able to get Drake out, I stood and I looked at my friend. I said, they doing everything, pretty much telling me to back the fuck off my child. They know it's my child now because I said, my child. I have emails in here that it says that I said, I, I'm Meryl's mother. I did not. I did it in a voicemail, an audio, because I got tired of emailing. You guys were the first people sent an email with. And you know when things just disappear on your phone? I called Apple the same day 
This is going to trip you. The same damn day that I sent you and John an email, and you guys turned right around, snatched that out of my phone, and uh, moved everything to November 2nd. Like the 25th, 26th, and 27th. 28, 29, there didn't even exist. Like I sat on this shit for six days. No, you did. Then I want you to remove yourself. So I thought I'd help you just snatch you out. But then you link yourself back in with your emblem. I don't understand this. My, my brother said, look, they don't even know you're using a cell phone, Kim. They don't even know. And he explained to me how you can tell. I mean, it looked like the stuff is just jumping out at you when you know what's going on. You know, you guys are really messed up and you say some really stupid things. You said something that really irritated the hell out of me. You know? It says profile based on race, dash, manner, and threatens employee's job, alleging he had facts. Social media pictures shows no common physical characteristics of, of, of facial features. Now, I'm going to tell you who wrote that one. It wasn't a little punk. It was management. It wasn't nobody hired to do this shit. The verbiage is not weak. But this is where it got weak. Where it says, Teresa, the only thing that they say, except they were both, they had nothing in common except for they were both the same skin color, African motherfucking American. I loathe that word just as much as I loathe nigger. I've never called myself Indian names. It. Who says I never say African American. I'm not fucking from Africa. It's not because I was born here. My ancestors are not via Africa. And you know what? Very few of us are. We came via Europe on a ship. We didn't come from Africa on no damn ship. The story you guys are telling people. And then when you say racially motivated, I'm profiling. I say profiling. But there's things that you said that pissed me off. The first thing that I caught last week was I'm just not going through this shit again. Look last week, and it said that I have a human trafficking business. What the fuck? How are you going to have a human trafficking business? You have uh, abuse, domestic, who learns how to help people with trafficking. But look at this shit. African motherfucking American. But wait, trust is not black. Okay, so, you know, both of those words together in the same sentence, you're calling me a nigger anyway again, Rob. Oh, of the same skin colors, African-American. But wait, Tress is not black. Now, I did make a statement saying, if you turn, after you called me a nigger, the next thing I said was, uh, if you think they're looking at my baby thinking that, that she black, Tress is not black. I said she's half white. Just dark skin. I'm Irish and Indian. Idiot. Black, black Indian. Idiot. But it's things like this. African American. Now these words are mine right here. But then when you try to make it where a debt is the one that didn't do the job. Oh, there's an email saying I'm gonna tell on I'm gonna tell the CEO on you a debt. No, I didn't trust your ass, John. When that first email, when I put that, sent that first email out and looked at my phone and it was gone. And then up pop you cooking a motherfucking pork belly. Bouncing off the wall all happy and ignoring this shit. My baby's career. And you doing a social media show. That's when I said, fuck you. I didn't send you any emails from Yahoo. Not until the 5th, when I realized they were already in my fucking phone, and I was transforming from personal manager at the 971-361-8027 number to, per, to the mother. And I didn't do it in writing. I did it via video, uh, audio. I did an audio, explain the event, 
to HR, then HR got shit in, in, in my in, in my computer. Like I, I, she sent me shit on the sixth. No, that was that was the eighth. You guys tried to extract that. That where she threatened me, the one where I called back and laughed. That's the one. You know, you guys are not too bright. So, I suggest this. Next time you guys decide to run over somebody, you should know who you're going to run over. Because there's no statute of limitations in my, in, my, in, in, in my world. I will put a rule in place because I do my shit that tight. I can't believe you guys are that fucking weak. You know? That fucking week. Three audios, three documents. I had you guys running all over the place. I even opened up Outlook. First thing I did said, Jamila, open up an Outlook because it gives you tracking. She showed me how the tracking go. Sent me the sheet. You snatch that sheet right out because you know what? That's when I saw that my baby's name was wrong. I was just glancing through. You know, I know how to critically read, like skim fast too. I glanced through. Scratch. I look up. M E R R R L P E P A T T E R R R E. Because I had you moving too fast, huh? Yeah, that's about it, probably. Mm hmm. That's probably about it. This really bugged me here. When my baby sent a, uh, a request for a letter of retraction, and you guys just totally ignored her. Instead of giving it to her, you walked up on her. Yeah, that's when I called him back. You guys are really good at covering up the dates, too. I have a journal. I have a log. Because I don't trust nobody. Uh -huh, see them four phone calls, Rob? After you blocked my ass. Mm-hmm. Turned everything over to... To back over to her. Mm hmm. You try to uh, put Tressa's name. See how Tressa in all these? I didn't send Tressa any emails. I screenshot the original um, document and asked her if there's anything that was missing. She was like, oh, man, mom, he said it. I said, no, I don't trust that shit. Okay, hold on. We're going to go back a little notch. Yeah, investigation was pending. See that? That's you. It was raggedy. You guys tried to move everything to the second. I said to my friend, they're trying to erase everything and go from the second on. And when that one thing came up missing, I screenshot every day. Every day. She called crying. You guys are wrong. Input people. I didn't know. I didn't know. I just had customer service. Now, this is where everything was supposed to be coming from. Everything was supposed to be coming from right here. Watch this. Is that Gmail? Is that Gmail? That's where it should have been coming from. See, so screenshot everything. Because I didn't know what was going on. And then my baby's picture. I got the second police case number because you guys, it's called a silent threat. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I got to say this. Email just checked her email. And you guys are wrong. The bottom line is, I don't know what's wrong with you Europeans. I don't know if you think you're that strong. You got one less ounce of brain matter, one less layer of skin. Because we bowed down to your whip once upon a time. But you guys need to straighten your shit when you come. When you see you approach somebody and you see the skin tone. You best not think nigger. And if you do, you better not say it out loud. That African American and black and, and, and the same. I laugh at people. I laugh at articles and post that shit on Facebook. I did one two weeks ago that, that people were sharing. Like, okay, I am tired of you Europeans calling us African fucking American. We're not African American and we're not fucking black. You're pink and we're brown. 
pull out some Crayolas. No, because it's a code. Black is scarred. Mm-hmm. Used to be a hero's color. But y'all ain't even white. Y'all trash. Y'all be fucking over people and think you can get away with it. Because you can go in the yacht and have fun with your friends and, and go home and not think about it. What I want to do is make sure you always remember the spirit of Autumn Marie Patterson. Anybody that abuses my baby's name too. Anybody that abuses my baby's siblings. In the name of my baby. You guys are fucked up. I'm going to let it go at that. Confused. Hold on. Attention, Drake GDM. I didn't want to ask my daughter what his last name was. I thought it was just Drake DM. Then I heard her talking to her boyfriend, Jerry GDM. Then it was about the fist that I found out that he was a T-Mobile employee. And John didn't do shit. And the way you guys spliced up my, my audio. You guys are stupid. I didn't send you shit. See all these people? Oh, I I just ran across um one of these uh, sheets of how many emails I sent. And you guys cleaned up pretty good. You guys say that I only said Gormley um, uh, zero and only a half of one in the past three weeks. And only three in two weeks. Such a lie. One word. And it was that so fucking hard. Why you made my stomach ache. Even when I sent you an example. I used John's best voting friend to smoke him out with an example. And, you know, that email's gone. I can't find it. I sent it to T-Mobile employees, like six of them. Now, I don't even know. I just picked some names. I heard my daughter say um, Rachel was a, a, a supervisor in uh, HR. I just found a Rachel without no last name. You see a couple of them emails. And then you try to put her name in places and put her in that she responded on six and put you guys in like you did things right and then cover up dates and shit like people are crazy. I'm old school, boo-boo. We do ledgers and stuff. One day this stuff might blow up and fry and a satellite might drop in the air and you might not have nothing. Me, I photo. I take pictures, I screenshot, and then I hide some. Like when you guys did this, that didn't matter to me. It did not matter. Nope, not at all. Because I had some shit zipped. I had it zipped. And I just opened it up the other day. And I just recently decided to put all my shit on a one, uh, one phone. I mean, one thing. Oh, yeah, you stopped me from using my phone, just so you know. You didn't. Let's see, I'll send you guys stuff like this. And you guys were acting like I was harassing you? I'm telling you what you guys were doing to my baby. Oh, that's not you guys. You guys are like retarded. To do some crap like that to people. This is a place that, that's just nasty. I do all kinds of stuff. Get trying to get people to do their jobs right. You guys don't even care. You don't even care. <sighs> Racially profiled. This is the one I did online. And you guys already know because who registers anything online and don't give you a date? And look at the 2018. It's bigger than all the rest. It's like the cat size of capital letters. You guys are dumb. You guys need to check yourselves. And understand that 
This is a um, iCloud. She can't send anything from this iCloud. Nope. Nope. And see this message right here? This is where LeBlanc put her letter in and snatched another one out. I found it today, just today. She said that's her at 219. You guys are stupid. You know, being in real estate, everybody know how to cut and paste. Put in. The only time I do them slashes is when you don't have any um, enough room. And then one of these says NOV, N-O-V, like this. I don't do that. But th this is a date, of course. But this was in a letter when uh, from uh, something a uh, LeBlanc. And she said, oh, and then you put this in too. You guys just didn't do a good job. Didn't do a good job at all. I didn't even know the bitch then. None to the eighth. That's how you, that was your tag. My brother taught me that. He said, Kim, when they lift something out of, uh, out of your phone, when they drop it back in, the resolution is off. Yep, watch this. Bam. That's a screenshot from the computer. Bam. But guess who also has the same blue R? And it's over in my Yahoo. LeBlanc. Uh-huh. Covered up the, all the, the severity of the issue. Come on, dude. Because it's right here. Watch. I'll show you. Recorders were blocked. You know, I'm letting them people know that somebody's in my phone and you guys just rather shut me down. That's why. See? The severity stated. The severity stated. See, this right here was attached to the, the forwarded. It was just attached on the, the same long last document that I wrote. Mm-hmm. I was just telling you guys about torts. About how to do a retraction, what distress was, and emotional distress and duress. That's all I was doing. And I couldn't understand why this bitch wouldn't come out or why you wouldn't make him come out. There was something else there. I'm not stupid and sloppy like that. So you guys know. Okay, I was going to tell you this. 840 milligrams of medication I was on after human trafficking. I moved to Atlanta to get away from motherfuckers like you guys. Stupid idiots. So, <clears throat> I was on 840 milligrams of medication when I took my law class. I got A's, A plus, and B pluses. Mm -hmm. Torts and remedies. Now, you upper management supposed to know, but just like my best friend, he took the same class. But he don't know nothing. See, even when I wrote this out, I didn't even write it out like it was me. I wrote it out like he sent her mother. Rachel LeBlanc sent a threatening letter to Jamila Springer, Merrill's mother. I didn't even say that it was me writing this shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't go around saying I'm her mother. You guys got that all over the place. You know, I got my first 911 call uh, case number for uh, Lisa and Teresa because I didn't know who you guys were ignoring. You know? And Kimberly, Jamila, do not send emails from, from the cloud. And you can see that was like put on top of that. I'm trying to tell these motherfuckers that somebody's in my shit. Now watch this. Watch the color change. Look how oh, the crooked are. These are like drawn cartoon character letters or something 
These are the ones from in my home. Mm-hmm. See, same cloud. Same, same, same. You guys took it out to do something with it and, and put the screenshot back. But when you dropped it back in, color was off. So, here you are with other a couple other companies, and you're not you're not alone. I don't know what these crosses are in this stuff here. It's all new. So I'm going to. That is download on my drive here. Download as a PDF. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Come on, drive. Click in there. Hope you get an eye for But you guys aren't that smart. It's a tricky one with the lock on it. Here we go. Stupid. Oh, clear that up. Yeah. Okay, okay, smoke it.
Okay. I guess I'll let you go bye bye. Oh, I sh maybe I'll show you guys some goodies. See? Mm hmm. So you keep track of everything. This is not harassment. You know, it's harassment. You just listen to mother plead. My baby's a kid. You guys are going to fuck her world up. I thought you were going to let somebody sit back and watch. Watch. And then as soon as you find out it's a mother, oh, get the get her the fuck out of the way. If it was a business, you would have just stayed silent and just let her get ran over. You guys are stupid. Let me get off this here, assholes.